Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you some basics of slimming world. I have noticed a lot of people are trying to figure out what is SW slimming world and how it works. If you want to know what is free food, speed food, sins, healthy extra A and B, then stay with me as I'm going to cover all this in this video. If for some reasons you can't Go to the group you can join SW online after watching this video you may have a clear vision what it is all about and if it is for you or not here are the books you get when you join the SW and they will help you in your journey there's lots and lots of information in this book it's about food optimizing you can get an idea of what slimming world is if you follow this, if you read through this book, this book is when someone needs a little boost in their weight loss and they are at a stall. This book tells you about what group is and how people are helping you. All the members of Slimming World that attend the groups and all the consultants are really helpful and friendly. They're not supposed to judge you and they have been in your journey before. So before we start the basics, Please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon to get notified on my future videos. So first of all, Slimming World is not a diet, it's a lifestyle. If you've been following yo-yo dieting and starving yourself, you must be thinking, why I've got all this food here in front of me? This is because you can have everything you want or need in your daily diet and still lose weight. Please do not starve yourself as, as it's not in a healthy option to lose weight. I'm going to start with basics and more details, details one will be coming in a separate videos. Let me know in the comments below what would you like to know next. So there's a long list of food that are free which means you can have as much as you need and still lose weight. This list includes fruits, vegetables, grains, rice, pasta, lean meat, corn products, fish etc. Pretty much all the veggies are free. Also, most of the fruits are free as well. However, some fruits are sin, such as avocado. And most of the fruits are speed. I'm going to tell you what speed means in a minute. Also, there is one fruit that is sin, which is avocado. What is sin? I'm going to cover that at the end. Some fruits has S and P signs in front of it. So S means speed, P means protein, such as pear is a speed, however mango is free but it's not speed. Speed food is the food that has the lowest calorie compared to all other free foods. S sign next to any fruit or veg then remember these are your best buddies in your journey. So here is the list of fruits and veg that you can have without any guilt. Please check out the list as these are the foods classed as speed and they can be eaten without weighing or measuring. However, fruits like bananas, cherries, mangoes are still free and part of this plan. However, they are not classed as speed. And as per the Slimming World rule, one third of your plate should be filled with speed food. However, cooked, canned or dried fruit are classed as healthy extras or are sinned. Fruit juices and smoothies are sinned as well. So here is the list of veggies that are speed. However, some veggies are free but not speed. The list is cassava, parsnip, potatoes, sweet potatoes, sweet corn. These are not speed but they can be consumed, consumed as much as you need. Now it's time for rice, pasta and grains. All rice, dried pasta, dried noodles, remember not fresh, they are all free as long as you cook them without using any fat. And if you use fat then you have to sin them. The list is here, buckwheat, couscous, quinoa, rice, barley, all of them are free unless you use them as ground and as flour. In dairy, fat free yogurts natural not flavored plain fat free cottage cheese plain quark these are all free and you can inc include them in your diet 
however the flavored ones are sinned such as this one it's like a half a sin because we only sin the sugar that is in there or the flavor that's in this tub not the actual yogurt when it comes to meat all lean meats like bacon beef lamb pork chicken is free without fat and if you cook using fat then please sin the fat that you have used in fish most of the fish has pea sign next to it as it is protein so white fish like cod green dover shell shellfish as um, uh, as well as oily fish like tuna and sardines are free and protein now next comes is beans peas and lentils all the frozen and fresh beans are classed as pea and the list is here however big bean used to be classed as pea but they have removed it from last year you can consume all of this as much as you require in your meals like chickpea is a good source of protein canned tomatoes and tomato purees are free as well to incorporate in your meals kidney beans they are all free other proteins such as jackfruit corn textured soya plain and tofu are also free as you can see all these foods are free and it's very less limitation to them so you can enjoy them as your everyday meals and still lose weight now i'm going to move on to healthy extras one is two portions of your calcium and one portion of your fiber calcium is your healthy extra a which means you can have dairy or non dairy products such as in non dairy you can use almond or soy but the quantity do vary this one is roughly 400 ml of your one portion in a day so you can have two 400s of almond milk and no cheese or any other healthy extra such as this type of cheese it's laughing cow light is cheese triangles and they are allowed five of them as your other portions of healthy extra a other dairy options are cheddar cheese 30 g cheddar 40 g reduced cheddar 30 40 g of this type of traditional indian paneer 90 g of ricotta so the options are plenty for you to actually incorporate in your meal and have them have them have them cooked the way you want like you can add these um healthy extra a's in your um sandwiches on your jacket potato like cheese on jacket potato who wouldn't want that on your pasta grated slice melted or grilled whatever way you want and when it comes to whole milk the quantity will reduce so the whole milk quantity is 200 ml so if you go for less coffees or less milk in your calogs you uh, and you still want whole milk no other milk then you will have to reduce the quantity to 200 ml however i love almond milk as it's, as it's like a 400 ml it's like double i love my coffees every day and i have about four of them in the day so i do need a lot of milk for that but it's all up to you basically now let's move on to your fiber allowance healthy extra b allowance it's only one portion remember not two and each day you are allowed um, there is loads and loads of options you can even enjoy your bread i love this morrison's whole meal protein bread it's 400 g pack and i can have two slices of this every single day so any whole meal bread if it is 800 g pack the slices are bigger so you only around you are only allowed about 60 g of those type of breads so roughly one and a half bread uh, for from a big loaf and two breads two slices from a small loaf so this one is one slice is about 30 g so two slices again is 60 g 
You can also have your favorite callouts as healthy extra B and not have to thin them. But if you have used bread in a day, in any given day, and you still want to have Kellogg's, then you need to sin them. These are roughly about seven sin, and each and every Kellogg has different sin value. So you make sure check it on your in your book or your uh, website. So example of uh, quantity is. Uh, uh, um, so the quantity varies as this Vita Breaks uh, Crispy Mini Chocolate Chip One is 40 gram allowed in a day. So remember, one portion is only either Kellogg's or bread. Otherwise, you have to sin it. And um, Kellogg's All Brand Original is 50 gram, which is five gram more than this one. And uh, there are more, like long list of all cereals that you can have and. The quantities are given in the book or on the website. The other healthy B extra choices are um, the crisp breads, loads of them, like uh, real food corn thins, original Rivita crunchy ray breads, two of them, or uh, pita bread, 60 gram pita bread, wholemeal pita bread. They are all included in your healthy B choices. You can also have nuts. So in nuts, you're allowed all sorts of nuts that you like, such as almond. You're only allowed roughly 20 almonds as your healthy extra B. So make sure you count them or weigh them accordingly. So this is exactly how much you're allowed instead of two slices of bread. I usually go for bread and if I do eat them, I sin them. They're quite high in sin. They're about seven sins. So as I've been mentioning sins a lot now, let me explain what is sin. It's a short form of synergy, not sin as offense. So you can enjoy up to 5 to 15 sins a day. Although these are optional and are there in plan to make you feel satisfied in your food and not feel deprived. So you can still enjoy your alcohol, chocolate, biscuits, crepes. But remember, you have to calculate accordingly and one sin is equals to 20 calories for example this is a 86 calorie pack this crips is 86 calories which means 4.5 sins and this one is 90 calorie snack and it's again 4.5 sins so 20 calorie equals one sin Also, um, you you don't have to count, well, you shouldn't count everything as sin if you think it's not a free food, such as this pasta and sauce. It has some calories as a cheese, it's cheese in it, some oil in it, and this one is 2.5 sins only. However, the calorie in half a pack is 200, which means if you calculate as a calorie, in terms of calorie, you will go above 10 sins. However, this is only 2.5 sins because the sins are calculated only for the cheese and the butter that you're gonna add, not for the pasta itself because it's dry. So guys, this is all the basics. I hope I've covered most of the basics. If you have any questions or if you want me to make any more videos about Slimming World, then feel free to comment below and I will Definitely look into it and try my best to give you all the info you need in your journey in order to get success and good luck and stay healthy.